Jessalyn. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to share with you my school morning routine. A lot of you have been requesting me to do this video for like the longest time. Like literally the whole entire screen is just filling up with requests for me to do a morning routine. And I apologize for taking so long to do an updated one. It's been like two years, almost three years since I've done my last morning routine. So finally, here is a new one. By the way, this is my school morning routine and you're probably thinking, Jesslyn, are you going in person? Are you staying online? And the answer to that is I am staying online for the remainder of the school year. Cause for me, I'm currently in my last semester and school is about to end in about like two weeks which is pretty insane honestly like the school year went by so fast so I'm just gonna show you what I do how I get ready in the morning how I do school and what I do after school all that fun stuff so let's get into it Good morning. As you guys can see, in the morning I have trouble getting up. My bed is so comfy, so I easily want to sleep in all the time, but my alarm, it loops on and on, so I have to get up and turn it off. Once I get up, I check my phone for about like a minute or two. I'll go on Instagram, TikTok, Discord, and sometimes YouTube. As you can see here, I'm liking some of the fan edits that you guys make for me. It boosts me up. It makes me want to film more content for all of you. So I really appreciate all of you guys for taking the time to make those. Finally, I'll get out of bed and make my bed. A lot of you guys ask me why I make my bed in the morning, and honestly, it's just out of habit. I've always made my bed like right when I get up for like the longest time. Plus, if you didn't know, making your bed helps you stay productive throughout the whole entire day. Yes, this was scientifically proven. <laughs> Some people don't have to make their beds just because they don't have like a lot of pillows or sheets, but with me, I do have a lot, so it's important for me to make my bed every morning and it helps my room look more tidy as well. I don't know, it just makes me feel happy afterwards since it looks nice and clean. And who knows, maybe other people out there make their beds every day too, so maybe I'm not alone and maybe it isn't a weird thing to do. You should start making your bed in the morning and see if you notice a difference during the day. <laughs> okay, I'm almost done making it, so give me a sec. Now we're heading into the bathroom to get ready for the day. Before I do anything, I like to put my hair up in a low pony and put on a headband to keep any flyaways off of my face. And yes, this headband is Cookie from Line Friends BT21. I actually got this at their pop-up in Hollywood. Okay, now this part we are all familiar with. Kids, make sure to brush your teeth morning and night to prevent all these cavities and gum diseases. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you guys want to know this, but I use the Crest Charcoal Whitening Toothpaste, and I know charcoal toothpaste isn't the best for you, but it makes my teeth look whiter, so I mean, I'm still gonna use it. <laughs> Anyways, it takes me about two to three minutes to brush my teeth, and I always make sure to brush each side for 30 seconds each. Time for skincare. As you probably noticed, I've been breaking out. <sighs> this is totally normal though. I mean, every teen goes through this, but I think I broke out because of my monthly. Um, I'm not too sure, but it's been going down, which is good. Recently in my skincare routine, I've stopped using too many products and started using less because my skin has changed throughout the years. Now it's like sensitive and oily. So that's why I stopped using too many products. And so far it works for me. Well, obviously you can't really tell because again, I broke out. But if you guys wanna see my updated minimal skincare routine and some tips, then just let me know. To simplify my routine, I just wash my face with my favorite sensitive cleanser, then I pat dry my face, then I use a moisturizer that doesn't make me feel oily, and sunscreen. Sunscreen is occasional depending on if I'm going outside or not, and today I knew I was going out later in the afternoon, which is why I applied it. After I apply my sunscreen and it's all in my face, I'll use a lip balm. This is actually the Tatcha lip mask, but I use a little bit and it works great. I love how it keeps my lips moisturized throughout the day and night. Now that I've finished, I'll just do some extra hygiene stuff. Recently, I've been using these Korean brightening pads. It lightens darkened areas, but I use it because it removes any bacteria and odor. So it kind of acts like a deodorant, but you don't have to reapply throughout the day. 
Back in my room, I'll apply some makeup. This usually takes me less than five minutes to do, and I only wear makeup if I know I'm gonna be filming or going out, or if I'll be joining a Zoom call. But before I start, I always apply primer. This helps prevent the makeup from getting absorbed in my skin. Pretty much for my makeup routine, I use this Cushion Compact as a concealer, and honestly, it's pretty high coverage, so I don't use too much of it. Then I'll use my favorite powder from Bare Minerals. It's a mineral powder, so it doesn't clog up my pores, and it's better than using a liquid foundation all over my face. Next is blush, since I don't want to look dead the whole entire day. Some brow gel is good too to keep my hairs tame, and finally, some lip gloss. There you go, a makeup routine that takes less than five minutes. Time to get dressed! Usually I prepare my outfits the night before, but I kind of forgot this morning so it took me a little to find an outfit to wear. Yes, I know on my shirt it says Friday, but that's because I filmed this on a Friday, so I mean, it kind of goes. <laughs> Back in the restroom, I'm going to do my hair. My hair isn't naturally straight, it's kind of wavy, but for some reason this morning it looks straighter than usual, um, but I'm still going to iron it. I use this hair iron that my mom has had for a while and it works perfectly, you know, so I don't think I'll ever get a new one. Plus, I don't think they sell this anymore, so I can't really get a new one. <laughs> um, anyways, when I straighten my hair, I curl the ends to give it some definition. And yes, this is my go-to hairstyle. I highly recommend it if you have long straight hair or even short straight hair. It looks great and I love doing it. And that's the final product. After I'm done getting ready, I still have about 10 minutes left before I start my first class, so I'll head downstairs and have some breakfast. My sister and I have different schedules, by the way. Her class starts at 7.30 and mine starts at 8, since, you know, I'm homeschooled, so I don't really have, like, a set time, but I like to do it at 8. Anyways, I don't really get a chance to see her in the morning. She wakes up on her own, she makes her own breakfast, and she gets ready by herself now, which means she doesn't really need my help in the morning, and that's why you don't really see her in this video. But it's okay, she's fine, and we do see each other after school. For breakfast, I ate cereal and had a bottle of water beforehand. It's important to drink water throughout the day. And here, I'm just washing the dishes, heading back upstairs to start school, yay. <laughs> For my homeschool online website, we use Edgenuity. Let me know if you guys have ever tried this out and if you enjoyed it or not. Um, by the way, I do occasionally have Zoom calls with my homeroom teacher, but that's usually every month. We actually had one today and you'll see that later on in this clip. We also are almost finished with school. School is currently almost ending for me in about two to three weeks. So recently I've been finishing my classes an hour earlier. So instead of finishing school at around 12 or 11, I'm finishing at 10 o'clock. Oh, and there's me talking to my teacher through Zoom. <laughs> Taking some notes in math class cause I'm kind of struggling in math, not gonna lie. <laughs> and we're all done with school. Yes, let's go. And now I don't have to do school for another two days. <laughs> Here I am playing the guitar. I recently got a guitar, so I've been trying to practice every single day for about 15 to 20 minutes. I'll do a video on that soon, so stay tuned. And to end the morning off, I film a new YouTube video, which is what I'm doing right now. But in all seriousness, after I finish school and my guitar practice, I'll usually film and then that's when the morning ends because by the time I finish filming, it's already like one or two o'clock in the afternoon. So that is it for this morning routine. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Again, I know a ton of you have been asking me for this video, so hopefully I did not disappoint. Make sure you stay tuned for my morning routine weekend or summer version because again, summer is super close for me and school ends in like two weeks. So just keep an eye out for that and also keep an eye out for my night routine because that's also a video that a lot of you have been asking me to film. This was super long awaited. It finally updated. It's been like two years since I've updated this video for you guys. So again, I hope you like it. If you want to comment on this video, then you can check out the community tab on my channel. You just go to my channel page and then there should be a selection that says community. When you press that, there should be a post with this video on it and that's where you can comment. I'll be harding and responding to as many comments as I can so be sure to check that out anyways don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and TikTok. Both social medias have the same username which is at underscore Jessalyn Grace underscore. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!